Okay. Okay, let's clean some fuel injectors. Step one, dirty fuel injectors. Actually, these are pretty clean. We're gonna clean them anyways. So what I got here is a half inch piece of hose, fist nice and tight over the wrong end of our injector. It's the outside, this is the inside. We're gonna put solvent to cleaner through the inside. Throw it out the end. Connect uh, shop air to the other end of that hose after I fill it with my favorite cleaner, brake wash. Then I'm going to attach shop air, which I've set to about 90 psi. Have used more, but 90 should be fine. I've got a battery to operate the fuel injector, jumper wires to connect it. You can use a lot of this stuff because it works really good. Is it going to come out at the end? Yes. But not yet? Not until we activate the fuel injector with our battery. Got it. Okay. Injector is not polarity sensitive, it does not care what's positive or negative. Go ahead and hook it up randomly. See every time I trigger it there, I'm getting some flow. And that stuff looks pretty nasty. Too bad this isn't in color. You can see I'm Intermittently connecting the fuel injector. Yeah. Connecting it constantly can burn it out. It's supposed to be pulsed. There is a tool that will do that for you. Mine's not here right now. But here we go. Do a bunch of cleaner through it. <laughs> All over my face. In your face. Now you gotta switch, do the other one? I'm gonna go both ways. I'm gonna do it from the other side now, and then okay. we'll move on to the next one. Okay. There was some stuff that came out. I saw that. It was a little dirty, hey? It was. Did you expect that? I did not. Now we're going the other way, right? Yep. Okay. Next time, warn me. <laughs> when you take it off. That's way more. Yeah, it was definitely shitty. It's getting better. 
It was clogged. It was. Excellent. Look at all that nasty stuff. Hey? And that's how I clean. <laughs> that's all right. I didn't get sprayed this time. And on to the second one here. On the next one. Wow, that's easy. Great oh, job. Nobody should ever try this at home. All of these uh, solvents and cleaners are highly flammable. So when vaporizing them from highly explosive, so nobody should ever do this. Okay. I'm not doing it, you are. This is a how not to video. Okay. Don't, don't ever try it. Okay. Horrible idea. I won't. Probably doesn't work. It looked like it cleaned it up real well. So now we're putting on fuel injector number two, right? Okay. See how nasty this one is. This is the good one. Curious, this is a non chlorinated brake wash in the green can. My favorite of brake washes. The flammable kind. <laughs> Squirting out already. Yeah, it's because we're going backwards. It'll do that when you're going backwards. It can't, we're at 90 pounds, it can't hold that much pressure back. Well, I want to see what comes out. Well, you can see it turned the rag yellow. How come nothing's coming out like before? It's already gone. It did. It just came out quicker. Oh, I see. Watch it. <laughs> All right. Now you just got to go. Go in the normal flow of direction now. Got it. I always go backwards first in case there's any big chunks in there that just don't fit through the injector. You can blow them back out that way. Okay. Well, back, back out where they came from. Make sure you put enough in there. Never skimp on the brake wash. <laughs> okay. Also the best bee killer there is. Even if you don't light it on fire, it still works. Whoa, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot this time I think. This one isn't as bad. Coming pretty clean, yeah. Yeah, this one, the other one was bad. Well, not bad, but.
right. And that's that's it, hey? Injectors are clean. All right, thank you. I'm going to sign off now.